Since the beginning of the Age of the Navigators, man's image of the world had been dominated by the sea, the one linked sea that covers two-thirds of the planet. By 1800, the contours of the ocean's surface were largely understood. But even in 1805, barely a generation before Ernst Haeckel's birth, a respected French naturalist was able to theorize that the bottom of the sea was covered in eternal ice, and that, as a consequence, life was impossible there. The depths were still a mystery, a region reserved for poetry and romantic myth. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his o'ertaking wings and chased us south along. The greatest romantic sea myth of the 19th century world was Samuel Taylor Coleridge's Rime of the Ancient Mariner. As the poem begins, an aged sailor recalls the strange voyage of his youth to a wedding guest who cannot choose but hear. He tells how his ship was blown far south by a great storm. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold, and ice mast high. A mysterious albatross brings good fortune and a rescuing breeze, but the mariner offends the spirits of the deep and brings a curse upon the ship when he shoots the albatross. Soon, trapped in a Pacific calm, the mariner descends into nightmare. He lives out the consequence of a failure of vision, a split between man and nature. 